good morning to my teachers my seniors and colleague myself dr anubrata sen resident of uh, artix presenting a case of ivl in left main coronary artery disease so my patient a 64 year male chain smoker presented with worsening exertional angina of class 3 despite maximally tolerated antiangina therapy he was a known case of copd hypertensive but non diabetic the echo revealed there was generalized wall hypokinesia with ejection fraction of 50% with good rv functions his hemoglobin was 15.9 with a creat of 1.32 we did the angio and it revealed a uh, left main triple vessel disease there was uh, tubular left main disease with calcification and also disease in the lcx as well as uh, diffuse disease in rca so this give us the first option of cabg and we promptly did look for a lima but when we took shoot it revealed there was uh, stenosis in the subclavian as well as the lima was diseased and more so the bilateral renal artery were stenosed and uh, the peripheral arteries were also diseased so we have ha only left with the options of pci as he was a cabg turn down so before starting we had these queries in our mind whether which vessel to do first whether it is rca or left main led and lcx what to do about the calcific left main what are, are our choices of plaque modification whether it is rota or ivl and uh, in intravascular imaging which we would prefer ivas or oct and as we were doing uh, unprotected left main if need of mechanical circulatory support which will be our choice ibp ecmo or impella so we went with rca first as we wanted to establish the flow in the right system to support the left system and beginning of the uh, intervention in the unprotected left main the rca was also a very much diseased calcific and it was tortuous uh we required meticulous pre dilation bed preparation with sequential non compliant balloon dilatation and we we also needed uh, catheter extension of guidezilla as it was a tortuous artery and as well as calcific so first we went with two uh, drug eluting stents of 2.75 into 24 and 3 into 32 in the meet and prox rca we for stent deployment and stent delivery we also required guidezilla and after stenting we found out that there is a residual disease distal to the mid rca stent which was confirmed by rc uh, ivas and it showed up fibrocalcific plaque so we had to go for another stent distal to that of 2.75 with 18 and uh, this was the final result of final result of rca and which is confirmed by ivas also which shows uh, roundish rca result with uh, in both the diameters more than 3 luminal stent area then we proceeded for led and uh, we did a pre procedural ivas and oct run which revealed uh, medial uh, severe medial calcification there was uh, also some luminal calcification and the arc was more than 270 which we can very well appreciate from the ivas and apart from that in the in the middle one there was a uh, calcific nodule which can be which we can appreciate both from the ivas as well as oct so here in a uh, left main calcification a large lumen with so much medial calcification we choose ivl as the procedure because we had the rotor bars of 1.5 1.75 which on even touch the calcium so we uh, pre dilated led to lmc with non compliant balloon then we did ivl to left main and also led and uh, as there was occlusion for 10 seconds for 8 cycles patient had episodic bradycardia as well as hypotension and post uh, ivl we did a oct run which clearly showed uh, cracks in the calcium which can be appreciated here this was one of the cracks here here also you can appreciate that and this one uh, in the nodule 
but along with that we have a problem as well there was a aortoosteal dissection here here there was a aortoosteal dissection and uh, you can see this is the nodule and there is a clear crack in the nodule then we uh, post dilated it modified it with another uh, nc balloon and this was the final result and uh, we deployed a 3.5 uh, 38 stent and uh, post dilated it and this was the final oct result with good uh, left main area of 10.6 sorry and uh, good minimal uh, minimal stent area and uh, the OCT clearly shows good apposition and stent expansion. So, so coming back to our questions, which one we address first? As I have mentioned, we address RCA first to because we want to stabilize the patient, good uh, provide good hemodynamic support so that we can intervene the left main. And uh, as I also showed, uh, said that we uh, preferred IVL, and this algorithm also shows that we filled up the criteria for both for IVAS and OCT, that there was a 270, more than 270 degree arc of calcium, a length of more than uh, five millimeter, here it was 12, and uh, there was a definite calcium nodule visible. And this was also summarized here only, and we have filled all these three criteria. And uh, is there any experience on that? There is a small st study with 16 patients of left main calcium where they took IVL and they gained good luminal in 100% of cases. And the short -come outcome was good. And as far as the IVAS and OCT concern, we, uh, IVAS is always preferred in the left main because of the more lumen, uh, OCT has a less depth perception. And also there was an osteum disease in the left main for OCT, we need to uh, disengage the catheter and also make sure that there is a good dye flush, which is difficult. For that, IVAS is always preferred. But as there was a calcium dominant, and we need to see the thickness of calcium, and also after IVL, we need to see whether there are cracks or not, OCT was also needed. We had the luxury of having IVAS in our lab, so we did both. And uh, we had uh, IBP ready in the lab with established line. Thankfully, we didn't require that. So this is what I am need to say. There are multiple vascular territories, and it was uh, in, involvement and surgical turn down case. Uh, we tried to achieve a complete revascularization, meticulous planning, and use of intravascular imaging was key uh, to our success. Uh, the lumen is wider, difficult to rotablate, so it was an ideal case for IVL. And in order to maintain hemodynamics, uh, we have taken breaks between giving the IVL burst, and uh, we kept IVP ready in hand. Thank you.